Today, I'm going to be turning a part of my rich town into a more poorer, rundown area. Let's do this. So here is my town as it stands. We have a kebab shop absolutely nothing wrong with that who doesn't love a greasy kebab we also have a moroccan restaurant right over here i know it's pretty random but i really loved building this i love all the different cultures let me know where you're from drop me a comment so i have a sephora on this plot as well as well as a really nice salon and then i have this massive hospital at the back which i never got around to actually finishing so that is my town so far so what i've got to figure out now is where i'm going to put the poorer part of my town and as much as i really love sephora and my salon i really think i'm going to have to delete them it's a tough decision but i'm going to go ahead and do it so i have all of this space here now so i can get started on my poor part of town so here are some rundown buildings which i'm going to be using for my inspo and i just want to make it clear guys there is absolutely nothing wrong about living in these kind of buildings some of us are aren't as fortunate as others and we may not earn as much money or we may be forced to live in these kind of conditions and of course everyone would love to live in a nice house but unfortunately that is not the reality around the world what i'm trying to say guys is that we shouldn't judge and we should definitely not look down on others who are in this situation so what i'm going to do on each floor is going to be two apartments and what i also want to do is get a roof on here which you actually have access to and here is the roof and i don't know what it's like where you live but in the uk we have a load of pigeons they are literally everywhere they'll be on the rooftops they'll be on the streets they'll be in your train stations they are literally everywhere you'll find like a load of them up in central london and the thing is they literally poop everywhere and the golden rule is if you ever come to london do not feed the pigeons if you feed one within a matter of seconds there's going to be a whole gang of these flying rats surrounding you and as you may have gathered i really don't like them anyway in with my pigeons i've got a load on the roof just literally everywhere and i'm gonna go in and add as many of the new update items as possible so we've got the holes in the walls the um boarded up windows the doors i put in some chimneys because pigeons absolutely love chimneys i think they actually live inside them and it actually reminds me when i was younger a pigeon actually did come down our chimney and fly out of our fireplace Hello. into our living room that was literally so scary and now that i think about it that's probably why I don't like pigeons. Like, I was actually traumatized as a child. Like, just imagine some big fat grey pigeon flapping around in your living room. No, go downstairs. Go downstairs. Anyway, so I'm going in with this clothesline. And this is totally understandable. Because the rooms are pretty small, there's not a lot of air circulation. So the clothes have to be hung outside. And I can't lie, guys, in the UK, this is a really common thing because a lot of us do not own tumble dryers. Right, so next I'm going in with the communal bins and a load of trash because I want to make this area look as run down as possible. And I'm just going to fill up this bin. In my other video, I did actually put the elephant Hello. plush into the bin because that is just as scary as hell i don't know what that is and today it's gonna be the flamingo it definitely deserves to be in the bin i mean it's not even cute tell me why it's so hard for blocksburg to make cute plushies actually i'm lying because recently they did give us a really cute heart plush and now i'm gonna go in and use this hole in the ground i think this will be really cool to have like an open drain situation going on so i really want to make an alleyway so that's what i'm gonna do right now and these decals are going to be graffiti on the wall so i definitely got to get these graffiti cans in and i'm just going to use the transform tool to have a few lying on the ground honestly guys these will make your bills look 10 10 and look so realistic and of course i have to have this mattress in my alley along with the iconic pizza box literally i feel like every homeless person on blocksburg relies on that pizza moving on i'm just going to decorate one of these apartments real quick and because the apartments are real small i'm going to put Put one bathroom in which will be shared by both of the tenants so all of the new broken furniture will be going in but yeah they're not actually new but they're old but you know what i mean they're from the new update so this apartment is literally so basic also talking about updates what did you actually think about this one i think the whole concept is pretty cool and fun but honestly who wants to be placing broken furniture in the houses i feel like blocksburg just couldn't be bothered with this update so they thought why don't we just break a load of furniture that we already have and 
put it as a new update i really do feel they should have gone with something to do with spring maybe a gardening update or just anything really associated with spring anyway guys what do you think do you think we got scammed yet again so i'm going back into the alley i really want to make it dark and dingy and i also want to add some puddles i don't know why i feel as though alleyways are dark gloomy and wet so i had such a fun time using these holes which go into the floor to try to make these puddles i hope you do realize that i'm being sarcastic it was absolutely annoying now i can't lie i was left with these massive puddles you can probably bathe in them anyway enough with the annoying puddles i now want to go in and put in a takeout and i have no idea what kind of takeout it's going to be but all i know is going to be literally the worst takeout ever so this is just the front of the shop where you can place an order i'll put in a little seating area over here with this crusty musty sofa and in with some artificial plants because no chance is a real plant going to survive in this takeout and now moving into the kitchen where everything has to be crusty rusty dusty there has to be mold everywhere cockroaches all the appliances have to be dirty the sink is going to be blocked and overflowing with dishes basically this is gordon ramsay's kitchen nightmare it's going to be so disgusting that what i'm going to do is have rats swimming in the oil i know i know this is now some next level stuff going on here all right so guys guys i'm testing it out oh my god how disgusting is that Ooh, imagine your chips being fried with some mouse fluff oh my days that is probably the most disgusting thing i have ever built on Blocksburg. I can't lie, I am so disgusted with myself. Anyway, moving on, I'm now going to build a broken telephone box. It's just one of those stereotypical things that you just see in London and they're always broke. <laughs> So fast forward and this is what it looks like. It is looking a bit too nice. So I'm going to have to break it in some way or the other. So what I am thinking of doing is breaking the door. So I don't know whether it's going to be on the floor or leaning up against the telephone box. But it's definitely going to be broke. And I am going to put a chair in there because I can't lie. I feel as though the telephone boxes were used by people to call families back in other countries. So I might as well make it comfortable for them because you know how long those calls can go on for so i wasn't sure what to build on this side and then i thought why not build a market now guys i love love markets like you can pick up stuff for half of the price in the shops and they sell absolutely everything so my first stall is going to be a clothing stall where you can pick up your knockoff gucci's or Louis Vuittons. and then over here will be our fruit stall so i'm going to have loads of fresh fruit at affordable prices and then over on this side is going to be our cosmetics makeup toiletries cleaning products you name it we've got it oh my god and definitely toilet paper like do you realize how expensive toilet paper is nowadays it's just a joke well, i'm sure most of you don't because you probably still live with your parents and your parents pay for all the bills and all the stuff for the house but you may have heard them talking about how expensive everything is nowadays but anyway for tissue that you use to wipe your butt it's just absolutely ridiculous how expensive it is oh my god how could i even forget the flip-flops that is an absolute crime right so the market is done and now i've got to go in and put in another building right here and i thought what about a laundrette so my laundry is in the process of being built and here i'm going to be doing the fence and on top of the fence i want those spiky things to keep any intruders out it totally makes sense for me to have a laundry in this build because obviously the apartments are small there's no room for a washer dryer and also the cost of running these appliances cost a lot of money so it's better for the people of this community to come in and use the laundrette almost done now guys just got a few bits and pieces to finish off and i'm gonna come back for that tour and so here it is my poorer part of town So let's first go and have a look at the apartments in this block over here. It's real basic. We have a bed, a dining area over on this side, a little kitchenette. And through here is the shared bathroom, which we share with the other tenant on the other side. And yet it's empty at the moment because no one has moved in as yet. But yeah, that's the apartment. Now, what I really do like about this apartment is that there is a rooftop, which you can actually use. You may have already noticed, but this building is infested with big fat pigeons. And you know what comes along with the pigeons? It's their poop. Oh my God, why is this? 
big fat pigeon guarding the top of the stairway and it's not even budging like it literally thinks that it owns this place i guess i'm just gonna have to jump over it there we go and i was trying to get to the rooftop which is ironically full up with pigeons and their poop but putting the poop and pigeon aside like look how cool this is this is such a nice place to chill imagine spending those summer evenings up here oh my god i love this and you can literally jump from roof to roof it's just such a shame that it's infested with these flying rats now into the side alley and this is more or less what i expected it's kind of dark grim a lot of trash around there's quite a bit of graffiti on the walls and it looks like someone has claimed this bed and here is a local takeout which is renowned for its famous pot noodles so here we can place our order and whilst we wait we can take a seat right over there and out into the kitchen oh my god that is the biggest breed of cockroach that i have ever seen in my life it's a complete mess in here the sink is blocked and overflowing with dishes there's a disgusting stench coming out from that moldy fridge oh my god how is that salad even looking that fresh Ooh, i mean what is going on here everything is so filthy i mean look at this oil it looks like it has never been changed oh my god there's a mouse oh my god oh my god it's actually swimming in the oil this is disgusting yo i have never seen anything like that before i feel so traumatized but i gotta say one thing for sure guys is that they do a blinding pot noodle and i would definitely recommend that you come down and try it out and let's just ignore the fact that we saw a big fat rat taking a swim in that oil right over here we have a phone box which does need a little repairing but the main thing is is that the telephone still works there's just a slight fuzzy sound in the background and here we are at the market where you can get your knockoff gucci's oh my god i so need a pair of flip flops over here we have the fruit stall now look at all this fresh fruit and over on this side we have your cosmetics toiletries cleaning products you can even pick up a big pack of toilet paper for only a few dollars basically they sell everything and anything that you need in this market for a fraction of the price and now over here we have the laundrette they do have some high-tech security here i can't lie with the metal spikes on the fences and that security camera and because the majority of the residents don't have a wash or dryer they will come to the laundrette to wash their clothes so it's a great place to gather at and have a little chit chat and there it is guys my poorer side of town please give this video a like if you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one see ya